Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a hydrate example. So it's asking for what, how many waters there are going to be part of the hydrate. So it is potassium aluminum sulfate. Uh, dot, because that's how it's written, an unknown amount of H2O, and that yields an anhydrous of calcium aluminum sulfate. plus water. So what we know is that the hydrate as a whole is um, 5.459 grams and once that is heated which means the water will evaporate the anhydrous will weigh 2.583. So the first thing we have to do is find the weight of the water. So what you do is you subtract the total weight of the hydrate by that of the anhydrous and that equals, let me just punch it into my calculator, 2.876 grams of water. So, with hydrates, as well as anything else, when in doubt, convert it into moles. So, what you're going to do is, you are going to take the 2.583 grams of KALSO42 and multiply it by one mole over the total molar mass, which just let me punch that in. So it is going to be. I'm sorry. It's going to equal 258.192 grams. And that means that the total amount of moles is point zero one use zero zero using sig fix. So that's the amount of moles of the anhydrous and now we need to find the amount of moles of water. So we're gonna take two point eight seven six multiply it by one mole over the molar mass which is eighteen point zero one five and that equals 76 divided by it equals 0.1596 moles using sig figs. So now there's only one more step. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the larger molar count, which is 0.1596, and divide it by. 0 0.0100, which equals 15.96, and we're going to round it to 16. So 16 equals the x that, if you recall back to the beginning of the video, was the coefficient for the water. So now, if you want to find the percent mass of the water in the hydrate, what you would do is you would divide 2.876 
by 5.459 and that equals 2.876 divided by 5 point that equals 0.5268 and you have to multiply it by 100 to get a percent so it's 52.68 percent is water and that is how you find a hydrate and the percent of the hydrate that is water I hope that was helpful and I'll post another one thanks bye